and welcome to the Force for Good and Corporate Social Responsibility Workshop for this year's America's Live. Today, we are privileged to hear from sales leaders across our region as they share their unique experiences with us with service projects, the Nurse to Children program, and being a force for good. We'll also hear from our regional charity partner, Charity Vision. The mission of the Force for Good Foundation is that we strive to improve the lives of children by offering hope for a life free from disease, illiteracy, hunger, and poverty, giving them hope for a brighter future. We do this through various projects and initiatives and also engage heavily in other corporate social responsibility projects in sustainability and community outreach. Let's take a look at what Newskin has done this year. Pleased to have Doug Jackson from Charity Vision, our regional charity partner, here with us today. Welcome, Doug. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Um, if you can just begin and tell us a little bit about Charity Vision and what you guys do. Uh, charity Vision started about 30 years ago. Uh, we restore lives through vision. Um, there are about 40 million people in the world uh, that are blind right now that don't need to be. Wow. 80% uh, of those people uh, just have cataracts, and we can fix mm -hmm. that pretty easily. There's about 200 million people in the world that need glasses, that don't have access to glasses. So our focus is, is addressing those sight issues and giving back people their lives, and their opportunities of life we can afford them through these visual impairments. That's so amazing. Um, tell us next about some of the impacts that you've seen from the work that you've done with Charity Vision. Well, we're just one of the pieces of the puzzle here. We, we bring the resources together to make miracles happen. And uh, the impacts, uh, I mean, it's amazing when you have a, a parent who is home, who can't work because they can't see, uh, they can't work in the factory, or they can't drive the taxi or the bus, and uh, the, the, it's heavy on, on them, the, the stress that they can't provide for their family. So being able to give some back their sight back, allowing a parent to go back to work is pretty neat. Uh, watching a grandparent see their grandchild for the first time mm -hmm. or better yet a mom we've had a few times where it's a mom and she's never seen any of her kids before mm -hmm. to give her back her vision is is very impactful uh, more in particular with new skin uh, we find that there's there's hundreds of thousands of kids out there that can't see the chalkboard they can't read without getting a headache there and so being able to give them back that opportunity to be a normal kid and be able to go to school and to learn is pretty neat. I mean, when we put a, ch a, a pair of glasses on a child and for the first time they notice the leaves on the tree or the mountains or they can read the chalkboard, uh, it's emotional. Th those are the things that, that, that's why I'm doing this and that's why I think we're all doing this is because uh, to see that amazing change in people's lives with something so simple and easy as mm -hmm. uh, a pair of glasses Definitely. or a surgery is pretty amazing. Yeah, and the thing I love about Charity Vision is what it can do for the kids' schoolwork. 
and oh, yeah. how their experience at school can completely change. Talk, oh, speak to that that's, a little bit. Yeah, and I think that's that's the fun part of this, about this project. And that's why it's so much fun to have this new skin project because mm -hmm. it's it's really geared to schools mm -hmm. and kids in schools. And we have these kids that that are, are oftentimes just labeled as the class clown, uh, or maybe they're just they're, they're slow. Uh, they're definitely more um, apt to be bullied because they're not very good on the playground. And all of it's because they just can't see. Like I said, 12% uh, of the kids that we see in the United States and abroad, about 12%, can't see more than four or five feet. And so they don't even know what's being written on the chalkboard. So they just kind of, you know, they disconnect. And they're, they're labeled as, as just slow. 80% of learning is visual in that, at that age. And so it's not a, a, a wonder why 70% of the kids that drop out of school simply have a visual problem and just mm -hmm. nobody knew about it. Yeah. I was one time with, in our new skin uh, screening down in Columbia, and uh, we found this little boy in the first grade, and he could only see a couple feet. And the teacher started to cry. And I said, he just needs some glasses. That's, we'll get him some mm -hmm. glasses. We'll change his life. Yeah. And she started to cry. She said, how many kids have I had like this in my classroom that I thought were just uninterested or slow mm -hmm. and all they needed classes I mean and she was just kind of thinking back but mm -hmm. uh, it changes these lives uh, immensely for something so easy you put it on and um, you know when, when the kid starts to cry then you know you've made a difference in their lives mm -hmm. so it's been fun uh, and uh, it's been a, a, a there's something about working with school kids that makes it makes it more enjoyable mm -hmm. that's amazing and um, tell us next about how new skin sales leaders can get involved First of all, we love to work with Newskin sales leaders, mm -hmm. Newskin people in general. Yes. What is it about Newskin? They're, they're just uh, like they're they're made for fun. You yes. know, they just want to do things. <laughs> yes. And there's nothing more fun than than hanging out with these kids. Mm -hmm. We we've had quite a few where we've brought Newskin leaders in with their teams, and here in Provo, Utah, we've had some of the Newskin workers. And I don't think there's a better way to start your day than a couple hours at the local elementary school. Definitely. Working through five six hundred kids. Last year we did fifty five thousand kids with Newskin. That was in Southern California and in Colombia. This year, we're going to expand into Peru. So uh, depending on what happens with COVID, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll, we're still doing stuff, but it's, uh, it's learning to do it a new way. But eventually, we'll be back to normal. And we would love to have the leaders come, bring their downlines and people they work with to come and just help go through these kids. 55,000 kids, that means we brought them in. We give them a quick little eye exam to make sure that there's something nothing wrong with their eyes. If there is something, then we, we put them in a, a queue and we'll bring them in and they'll actually come and see a doctor mm -hmm. and get their prescription. And then we will go ahead and provide them with the glasses that they need. And These all are of kids, that is provided. All that's provided. And, and this is, and, and this is the for, for kids here in the United States. It's for kids that, that all qualify for the free lunch program. So these are at-risk kids. Yeah. And what they were finding really is that every year we, we go and we examine these kids and we find out that they need a, a pair of glasses and nothing happens, especially in these homes that maybe are the, the lower income homes. Mm -hmm. uh, the nurses were saying, you know, it's been year after year after year and no one's getting their glasses. So now we've kind of inserted ourselves and said, well, if they need glasses, let's go ahead and get them for them. And uh, once again, to see them put their glasses on and all of a sudden be able to see things. We were down in Southern California a couple years ago. And uh, on, the side of the, on the side of the school was a big, huge, the name of the school. We put the glasses on the little boy, and he looked up, and he, I never knew, you know, and, and, and the letters were like, you know, two feet tall, you know, but he had never even known that that was the name of his, his school was on the side of this, you know, his name of the school was on the, was on the wall. So it's a lot of fun, and we'd love to have uh, as much interaction with the new skin folks as we could get. I know they'll enjoy it. They'll love seeing it. It's emotional to be there to put the glasses on the child and to see them kind of open their eyes and see things for the first time. Of course, we're on social media. Following us at, at Charity Vision mm -hmm. uh, and Instagram would be great. Um, but just being involved and just knowing what we're just supporting us like you are is, would be wonderful. I can't wait to see what happens when we open up Peru and mm -hmm. hopefully the groups there will, will, will come and support it and uh, and fall in love with the program as much as, as we have. Definitely, yeah. We love working with you guys, and everything you guys do is just incredible. And so we're so grateful to be involved, even a small part, in all the work you guys do. Um, like Doug mentioned, we have had sales leaders involved, and we want to show you guys a wonderful video um, of a Site Buddies event where they were able to be with the children when they first came in, got fitted for their eyeglasses, got the testing prescription all done, and kind of that end result there as well. And so. sometimes, sometimes it's it's uh, it's even more dramatic. We've had these kids come in. We've had a couple where they've had serious problems. Mm -hmm. We had one child that had cancer, um, yeah. but we they weren't unless somebody got them into the doctor and they were able mm -hmm. to see what's going on. 
So it, sometimes it turns into more than just glasses, and that's even more exciting because we grab something in time to, to really change their life. Well, thank you again so much for joining us. It was great to have you with us here today. Um, and now let's take a look at that video. So I was invited just a couple of days ago to participate with New Skin's Charity Vision Initiative, and this is the first time that I have been privileged to come and experience this. And so about 100 children in the area that are underprivileged and that have eye exams that they fail are brought over here, fitted with their proper prescription, they get to pick out their frames, and we get to watch them put their glasses on and see the world for the first time. And some of these kids had really, really strong prescriptions. And when I think about them living their life and going through life and not being able to see, and then coming today to have this transformation and being able to be a part of that, there is nothing better. It was awesome when they went back, looked at the painting before they had their glasses on and couldn't make out all the little things on there. And when they put their glasses on, when they put their glasses on, they could see all the little details. And that's when it really got to my heart. Today has been an absolutely unbelievable experience for me. Being a teacher, I see children every single day that just cannot afford glasses. So being able to get, the, get those kids getting some glasses and allowing them to feel confident um, in their own skin again has been absolutely amazing and such a cool experience today. I was a principal of a high school for over 10 years and a founder of a charity. And I can tell you that some of the behavior, some of the kids that we were seeing in our office, a lot of it was due to not being able to see and, and really not uh, wanting to tell anyone they couldn't see it or read the board. It's a very emotional experience because I have been given so much in my life and I can remember back when I had to get my first pair of glasses and I was not able to see anything and when I got my glasses, just that feeling was very, very empowering. I love New Skin, I love the heart of the company, and I love the difference that we're making in the world. At New Skin, we believe that fueling a child's mind is just as important as fueling their body. Since 2002, New Skin, its sales leaders, customers, and employees have already donated more than 650 million meals to malnourished children around the world. Let's hear from these sales leaders on their experiences with Nourish the Children and other Force for Good activities. Force for Good is indeed a heart of our business. At the end of the day, it's not how much money we make, but how we change the world and how many lives we have touched. We treat Force for Good as the GPS of our business and to the way that we live our lives. In January 2018, we decided to have a cross-country walk of 1,800 kilometers from north to south Vietnam to celebrate the fifth anniversary of New Skin Vietnam and to visit five families who received aid from the New Skin Southeast Asia Children Heart Funds. By visiting their family, seeing and knowing their living condition, we realized and deeply moved as parents ourselves to have baby born with heart defect and could not afford for the surgery. But because of the Southeast Asia Children Heart Fund now, the children are very happy, healthy, and could one day become teachers, doctors, and that will continue to help live and empower others. Thank you, New Skin, for making a difference. Besides the experience in Vietnam with Southeast Asia Children Heart Fund, we also have privilege to go to Malawi to see the difference that Fatamil is having on children in that country. And I still remember the moment the most emotional for me was when I held a baby and he touched my face with his hand. In that moment, I felt the connection to love and care. That's why we are so proud to be a New Skin family and force for good. Hola a todos. Mi nombre es Astrid Guerrero, soy colombiana, llevo 10 años viviendo en Chile y representando Nuskin, 4 años y medio. Me siento demasiado feliz y honrada de estar hoy día acá en esta convención virtual, en este live con todos ustedes y poder compartir un poco de mi experiencia y obviamente hablar de la fuerza del bien, que para mí es un honor. Me emociono demasiado cada vez que tengo que hablar de las iniciativas que tenemos, de todo lo que vivimos en África con mi esposo Raúl, porque fue para nosotros un giro realmente ver la vida de manera diferente donde notamos que los problemas en realidad 
es no tener comida y no tener agua. Ahí es donde uno valora más, ahí es donde uno nota que vivimos en abundancia y que en la medida que podemos ayudar a muchas personas aportando un granito de arena, vamos a poder hacer un mundo mejor. Eso es lo que amo de Nuskin. Amo que podamos ayudar, cambiar nuestros hábitos y convertirnos en personas de bien. Yo sé que quizás el mundo no lo voy a cambiar yo, pero yo sé que juntos sí podemos hacer una gran diferencia. Si cada uno de nosotros empieza a transmitir el mensaje de querer ayudar, de hacer las cosas bien, de ir por un buen camino, juntos vamos a formar personas que van a hacer que nuestro mundo sea mejor, que el futuro sea mejor. Y yo sé que se construye desde ahora, desde el presente, desde los actos que tengamos cada día de aportar y de ayudar. La Fuerza del Bien tiene una iniciativa que yo amo demasiado, es Nuris de Children. Me emociono cada vez que hablo de esta iniciativa. Bueno, todos los días 10 eh, del mes con el equipo eh, tenemos el día de dar. Le damos fuerza a nuestras redes sociales y no hablamos de otra cosa ese día. Bueno, para darle fuerza a esta iniciativa, viví una experiencia en Malawi donde noté que cuando estábamos entregando los alimentos a los niños, habían todavía filas de niños esperando los alimentos. Yo creo que ese es el momento más difícil en donde uno tiene que incluso seguir sonriendo a pesar de que uno por dentro se está partiendo en dos. Y es cuando tienes que decirles que no hay más alimentos, que ya se entregaron y entregamos toneladas. Y, y en ese momento hicimos un video con mi esposo y pues uno delante de ellos no puede llorar porque... Juntos tenemos que transmitir este mensaje. Las bolsas de vitamil realmente sí se entregan. Eh, y con Nuskin tenemos una oportunidad para ayudar a muchos niños. Y los niños son el futuro del mundo. Yo sé, yo sé que juntos, entregando el mensaje y dando a conocer esta iniciativa, así como hemos dado a conocer todos los productos que tiene Nuskin, este también lo podemos dar a conocer. Y yo sé que ahí va a tomar una fuerza gigante y que cada acto que vayamos haciendo, por muy pequeñito que sea, va sumando, así sea una sola bolsa de vitamil, va haciendo una gran diferencia y yo me siento feliz de ser parte de la fuerza del bien y me siento feliz de pertenecer a la compañía porque tiene esta iniciativa tan hermosa y como la que también tiene como Safi. Safi para mí es como un plan perfecto donde les enseña a, a los aldeanos a aprovechar los recursos naturales que tienen para poder subsistir y crear sus propios alimentos y yo encuentro que eso es demasiado bueno para poderse en ayudar mientras todos vamos dando a conocer la iniciativa para seguir alimentando no solo los niños de África sino también en México, en Colombia, en Argentina juntos podemos hacer una diferencia hoy día fue demasiado fuerte eh, porque siempre me quiebro cuando cuento un poco de lo que vivimos en África y, y realmente yo solo les puedo decir, las bolsas sí se entregan, pero hacen falta muchas más. De verdad, eh, gracias a todos por estar hoy día acá. Les quiero mucho y nos vemos pronto. Mayden的年会,公司都会讲解关于我们这个受接儿童计划,在年会上也会放这些影片,也会告诉我们说每一年因为饥饿有310万的孩子而死亡,所以每次受感动的时候,我们就知道公司透过这个受接儿童计划,
会，给这些孩子和这么多的家庭提供了这样的一个机会。看到这些家庭毕业的学生，他们在学校里面所学习的基本上都是男耕女织，让所有的孩子可以进到学校上学，然后可以学会在家庭里的农业和生活的技能，从沤肥到种植蔬菜玉米，然后是养鸡、养鸭、养猪、养鱼。那学习洁净的用水，学习卫生知识。如何让孩子受到一个好的教育？这样的一个家庭，在这个学校里面学习一年之后，他们从学校里出来，就可以回到村庄里面，向他的亲朋好友和村民们传授他们所学的知识，一传十，十传百，然后让一个家庭一个家庭的状况翻转。这样可以从根本上解决这些受精儿童的饥饿问题，所以我觉得 Newskin 公司真的非常伟大，他们去做了授人以鱼不如授人以渔的一个非常好的工作。我们今天可以用一些微薄之力跟公司一起来合作，然后去做这样一份非常伟大的事业，都让我觉得非常非常的欣慰。而且每一个家庭在学校，他们都是从各个村庄里面选出来的。我自己透过这这次的马拉威之行，让我非常的有感触。我也特别鼓励我们所有的伙伴和我们的如心人，能够都从捐赠一包蜜儿餐开始，到可以捐助到一个家庭的命运的翻转。随着最近新的蜜儿餐的加强，每当有一包蜜儿餐的捐出，如心就会向善的力量基金会做出捐款，让我们的努力能够走得更远。人人都献出一点爱，让这个世界可以变得更加美好。所以我觉得这次之行哈、啊，是我对公司有一个更深的认知。Hola a todos, ¿qué tal? Soy Federico acá desde Rosario, Argentina. Estoy muy feliz de participar. Gracias por la invitación a todos. Y bueno, puntualmente para decirles que estoy orgulloso de hoy poder hablarles de la fuerza del bien. Para nosotros significa muchísimo. Digo nosotros porque desarrollo el negocio junto a mi hermana y a mi cuñado Gonzalo y mi hermana Victoria y mi cuñado Gonzalo. Y estamos felices porque ya hace el 2017 tuvimos el, el honor de que Nuskin nos participe de esta iniciativa de Nourish the Children y nos invitaron a Malawi a participar de un viaje a Malawi que fue lo más lindo de todos los viajes de éxito creo que fue el más lindo de todos para nosotros fue un éxito haber podido participar del viaje y siento、eh, hoy el, tengo muchas ganas de contarles de dos experiencias fundamentales que tuvimos allá una de las cosas que más recuerdo fue la alegría de los chicos cuando llegamos a las aldeas y nos recibían con música los chicos y los grandes, ¿no? Con música bailando, cantando, una alegría enorme y a mí me encanta ver、eh, que hay gente con, que con muy poco es feliz. Entonces es un orgullo enorme haber participado del viaje. Sentimos、eh, siempre la necesidad de, de volcar y devolver un montón de cosas que nos dio el negocio también a nosotros. En los primeros años quería contarles. que estuvimos muy enfocados en Argentina con un montón de desafíos enfocados fundamentalmente en el negocio en hacer crecer nuestro negocio necesitábamos esa parte ese empuje económico cada uno de nuestras familias y también necesitábamos ese tiempo que el negocio te genera no de poder disfrutar un poco más de tener un estilo de vida distinto y bueno estuvimos muy enfocados los primeros seis años en el negocio puntualmente en el negocio en hacer crecer la Nuskin en nuestras redes nuestra organización y en el 2017 cuando nos invitan a Malawi fue un fue un impulso muy grande y nos dimos cuenta de qué tipo de empresa nos nos respalda, ¿no? Y, y el corazón que tiene. Uno de esos recuerdos que contaba de los chicos fue impresionante. Tengo 400 fotos de ese de ese momento de cada de muchísimas muchísimos rostros de los chicos sonrientes así y, y esos ojos y esa mirada que tenían lo, lo veo todos los días pues lo tengo en mi en mi computadora donde abro para trabajar y veo las caras de ellos ahí. y eso me encantó y otra de las cosas que tengo como recuerdo muy importante、eh, es el, el orgullo de la gente que nos mostraba las aldeas lo, cómo ordenaban los baños el, la limpieza todo lo que habían aprendido en la cosecha y la siembra y eso también tengo un recuerdo del orgullo que sentían de haber aprendido y poder estar ayudando a ellos también a otras familias de las aldeas a poder aprender y mejorar su estilo de vida así que Nuskin fuerza del bien Nuris de Children, sigamos avanzando y todas las iniciativas que tengamos volquemos la para que este mundo sea mejor para todos. Así que un beso gigante desde Argentina, un abrazo grande y chao chao. Gracias. The heart of New Skin's business is its ongoing mission to be a force for good. Whether at home or abroad, we strive to lift and empower people. We are so appreciative of these leaders who shared their personal experiences with us today, and are so grateful for all of you who strive every day to be a force for good and live the New Skin way.